Well, this brings back many memories. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome to welcome to the, our production of Hop Junior. This has really been an amazing week, and what these kids have done um, in just a few short days has, has really been um, has been rapid. So, um, thank you, Mad Society, for for the opportunity to come back and to work with so many talented children and Laura Tenero, our wonderful alumna, and David Cashwell in the booth, and. Madison and Nick and all the other helpers. It's really been uh, wonderful, wonderful. And we hope you enjoy the, our performance. Uh, this is this musical is based on the story of the ugly duckling. I won't give the story away if you don't know it. But I hope you enjoy following this journey. Thank you.
See? 
to be afraid of the water. I'm not afraid, Mama. Let's swim out all the way to that island over there. Oh, good gracious, no. It's harder than you think. Why, I haven't been out there since your father and I were courting, and I didn't need to go that far then. <laughs> now, are you ready? I'm ready, Mama. Something not very nice. This is your son, dear. Oh, oh, don't be ridiculous. He's just not your normal run of the mill pond duck, and that's all. Scared. He's definitely a turkey. Cranberry sauce! See if you can get him to flinch. Now, I want you all to go and get spruced up. It's time to meet the other members of the duckyard and be educated in the ways of the world. Drake! Don't stare at him. Look at him. Now, children, let's not make a fuss. Look at him. Are you sure he's really one of us? Family likeness isn't strong. Still, you won't go fun. All of you must get along. He's a special son. Come along, all of you now. Follow me. But stay close to me at all times, or you may get trodden on. And beware of the cat. Look at you, look at me, what's it matter? Why do I make you all laugh and scoff? Haven't you seen your own Why don't we play with 
the fishes. Because you scared them off. Quack, 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 quack. Now that's what I call a snack. Look at him, still a duckling, but there's so much more. Nobody 
Life's harder when you're on. But different isn't scare me. Different is no threat. And though I'm still their brother, they forget I didn't choose to look this way. I didn't want to be unique. I don't like my grubby feathers, and I hate my stubby feet. There's a runt in every litter, a black sheep in every flock. But when you know it's you somehow, your ego takes a knock. I'm just different, but I have a sense of pride. My looks may well be funny, but it hurts to say it's not. Different isn't scary, different isn't wrong. So why is it so hard to get along? Isn't hurtful, different could be swell. Different is just well. Okay. 
your mother. Anything? Well, I like to paddle the puddles, jump in the mud, tickles go back to the shallows. But maybe the fact that I go slam in the heart rate by marshmallows. I like to slay and drag and fly, watch water foam and race. To say that cats are dangerous is clearly not the case.
Now where have they got to? Shabby flock. I do wish they would keep up. No discipline. That's the trouble with the goslings of today. They're probably tired here. We've been marching for an awful long time. Poppycock, would you prefer that we fly with the shoot on the march? I think not, my sweet. This way. Um, excuse me. I was wondering if you could help. Ice point, dear. Keep moving. UFO at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Um, you, you see, I'm lost. No excuse for bad navigation. A bird who gets taken off his flight path doesn't deserve his wings. That's what I always say. Isn't it, dear? Always, dear. But I can't even fly yet. I got lost on foot. Bah! Infantry, eh? Messy business. He's only a youngster. Maybe we should direct him. Give him his marching orders. Bah! Very well. We're geese, see? Migrants. Birds of passage. We're in a tight fleet. What'd it do for us to lose our way, would it? Where was it that you were trying to get to? Back to my mother on the duck farm. I think it's somewhere over there. I saw a few ducks flying over there. Well, if you did, it was probably their last flying mission. Why do you say that? There's a chute, dear, on the marsh. It's very dangerous. A chute? Well, it's a people sport. One group of men move through the marsh, scaring ducks into the air, while another group, with guns, shoots them back out of the air. They're starting to shoot again. Time for maneuvers. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but I have no option. All right, at ease. Company fall in. Early. All right, eyes front. We're about to take part in an exercise, the likes of which we have not yet faced before. Our task is one of reconnaissance and reunification. Is that clear? Not really, sir. Not exactly, sir. Not at all, sir. I don't understand, sir. I don't get it, sir. What? <laughs> <laughs> this duckling has lost his mom. Bless him. We're going to find her. Is that clear? You are a fine body of beast. I trust that you will do your best. All right, good luck, men. We're off on a wild goose chase. We will be no stranger to danger. The squadron will know no fear.
Are you sure? On one of my laps. All right, then. Final check. Oh, here's a parachute for you. For me? You don't think I'm going to leave you here with a duckling, do you? Oh, no, Puss. You're coming with us. Oh, we have for them. Our wings are spread. Our access Day called me in the world. 
How could anybody make fun of you? Hmm. Just one last loop around your leg here. Thank you so much. This is a horrible place to spend our winter alone. I thought I was going to be left behind. Where's Earth Block? I don't know. I'm lost. I was separated from my family, and the more I look for them, the further it seems I wander away. Help us. The others won't mind, and since you're coming back in the spring, I can help you find your family when we get back. That sounds wonderful, but I really must keep looking for my mother. She can't be far from here. Maybe when you come back in the spring, we can meet up. I'd like that. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm sure. I really hate to leave you like this, but I must be getting the bar. Thank you. I won't forget you. Honk? Honk? Oh, she won't remember me. She probably isn't even coming back. What would she want to do with me, anyway? Ruben? Ruben? Whoops. Pardon me. Leave me alone. Sorry, Feathers. Didn't need to make you jump. Not that there's anything wrong with jumping, of course. I mean, it sort of runs in the family, depending on how you... What do you want? Want? Well, go ahead. Get it off your chest. Tell me how ugly I look. Ugly? There. Feel better now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Who am I to call you ugly? I mean, look at me. There. See? Connect the dots. I mean, if we're talking ugly here, they don't come much more aesthetically challenged than me. <laughs> Look, I get how you feel, but you mustn't let it depress you. I mean, I started out as a blob of jelly, and it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> you know what our trouble is? No. Our image isn't in vogue. That's all. It's a question of taste, really. But you mark my word. One day, ugly will be in.
take some time to find them when you do the lap of a hole. There's somewhere someone's gonna love ya
yourself now. It's your life, and you oh. belong with the swans. I don't care whose egg I came out of. You raised me. You're my mother, and that's what matters. Well... It takes all sorts to make a world. And you said it yourself. The duck farm is boring and everyone looks the same. So I've decided to come back with you. To be different. We're both coming back. To be the first swans on the lake. I've been different all my life. I was different as a duckling, and I'll be different as a swan. Well, come on then. What are we waiting for? I can't wait to see Drake's reaction. I think he might lay in bed. And what that might turn into, he doesn't bear thinking about. One moment. I've got some unfinished business to attend to.
Great job, let's give it another hand. Thank you so much. Did you guys have a good time this week? Yeah! Awesome, awesome. This is so much better than Broadway, so I'm so happy to be back. Good job, guys. This was amazing. Thank you so much. You worked hard. It paid off. Um, I just want to call out some of the assistants that helped us as well. Uh, Madison Head backstage. Wait. Oh, hold on. Okay. Someone's coming to the stop. Awesome. Both Madison and Nate help, help the kids all week with their with their lines and with their music, and, and then once we start rehearsing on the stage, they were uh, backstage as well uh, in the in the sound booth, sound stand, two percenters. And we had a, a drum assistant, uh, Walt Rimbaugh. And someone who would, this would not be possible without. Um, her enthusiasm, her inspiration, her talent um, has inspired all of us to speak. Laura Tutter. <laughs> and um, when Dana was away, we had uh, Mr. Cashwell, who was an alum of the school in 2004. Very talented. He put together our, all of our set and our scenery and our lighting. Thank you so much. Come on down here. You may have seen him as a music man, please. <laughs> And we had uh, we had the pleasure of two um, two wonderful costume moms. Thank you for their dedication. And um, uh, you know, I was texting them from New York saying, "Are, are we there yet? Do we have the costumes yet?" <laughs> but they, they worked so hard, and I really appreciate their time and their energy. Uh, Lee Trujillo. And a new round goal. You can, you can meet your, you want to take a few pictures while they're on the stage? All right. Um, can you guys go into your um, poultry tail positions when you're on the stage? Your frozen tableau, frozen tableau. If you're in an egg, you can come out of the egg. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you stand over by the, by the, the 